Here's what this means for you, for the economy, for national security, for daily life. If China cuts off rare earth exports, the global economy stops, not slows, stops. No new iPhones, no new EVs, no new wind turbines. Existing electronics manufacturing shuts down within months. Supply chains collapse. Companies like Apple, Tesla, Samsung, they all depend on Chinese rare earths. Without supply, production halts, stock markets crash. For national security, the US military cannot function without rare earths. If China cuts us off, we cannot build new weapons. The F-35 program stops, missile production stops. The technological edge the US military depends on, precision guidance, stealth, advanced sensors, all require rare earths. And we're dependent on China for them. That's a strategic catastrophe. For daily life, imagine your phone breaks. You can't replace it. Your car breaks down. You can't buy an EV. Your laptop dies. No new computers available. That's what rare earth cutoff looks like. The modern world doesn't function without them. Now here's the question everyone asks. Can't we just find alternatives? Can't we mine our own? Can't we break free? The answer is yes, but not soon. Mining is possible. The US, Australia, Canada, and others have rare earth deposits. Mountain Pass is operating again. New mines are being developed. But mining is only half the problem. Processing is the bottleneck. And building processing capacity takes a decade. China spent 30 years building their processing infrastructure. We're trying to do it in 10. Maybe we succeed. But in the meantime, we're vulnerable. Alternatives are limited. Researchers are looking for substitutes, magnets that don't require rare earths, screens that use different materials, but the technology isn't there yet. And even if breakthroughs happen, commercialization takes years.